Hi everybody, I'm Julie from the Santa Lucia Conservancy and I'd like to read you a story. It's called Woodpecker Wham and the uh, author is April Pulley Sayer and illustrations by Steve Jenkins. I have my own story about woodpeckers. I, I raised one so this is a special book for me and after we read it I'm going to show you some of what woodpeckers are doing. This book shows all different kinds of woodpeckers. There are many. This particular one that they're showing here is a flicker. We have them here. They like to spend a lot of time on the ground, oddly enough, and they eat ants. So not all woodpeckers eat the same food. Here's our flicker. They have a beautiful like black half moon. They're, and if you ever find a feather, the middle part, the shaft is bright orange. Swoop and land, hitch and hop, shred a tree stump, chop, chip, chop. This woodpecker is called a pileated woodpecker. They live up in the mountains and they make huge holes in trees. They're one of our biggest woodpeckers. Instant message, tap, one, two, bonk, bonk, bonk. Now back to you. They actually communicate with each other by tapping on trees. Early insects, click and crawl, flick and flake to find them all. Ooh, look what's here on the tree. Who eats leaves? That looks like a caterpillar. Spring sap rises. Who will drill? Sap sucker, sap sucker, sticky bill. We have sap suckers here. It's a kind of a woodpecker. They make a row of small holes. It's almost like they have a ruler. And when they come back, there's sticky sap that fills up the hole and they sip the sap. Plus they eat the bugs that get stuck. Fan those feathers, shower clean, sunbathe dry, then oil and preen. A rain shower, drying out their feathers. They use their beak to clean their feathers and zip them all together. Raise that crest, bob and bow, flash those wings, it's time to wow. Woodpeckers, when they get excited, they can actually put up their top feathers and uh, they can chase away other woodpeckers or just be showing off. Start a home, bill to bark, dig it, dig it, deep and dark. Hmm, wonder what they're making a big hole for. Wedge it, sledge it, wham by wham, clear those chips, slam, slam, slam. Woodpeckers have the most amazing body to make huge holes. Hawks are hunting, drop, stop, hide, quiet on the other side. Cherries, berries, pluck and feed, leave a dropping full of seed. Oh my gosh, you guys, here's a flicker eating a cherry. And then when he poops, he's gonna leave a seed behind that can grow a new tree. Tap, 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 where? Look and see, crick, crick, crack. Six chicks break free. Baby woodpeckers. When I found my woodpecker, he had just come out of his egg and fallen out of his nest and he had no feathers. Hungry mouths and begging calls. Hunt, hop, pick. Quick, feed them all. It's the flicker collecting food for the babies. Fledglings fly. Oops, fledglings flop. Chase and feed. When will it stop? The Mom or dad woodpecker is very busy. The babies are learning to fly. Fluffy fledglings now are grown. Wicka, wicka on their own. That's what they do. They spread their wings out and they make a lot of noise. There's the woodpecker family. Fall is falling. Acorns plunk. Pry seeds, pull seeds, fill a trunk. Oh. Here we have our woodpecker storing the acorns in holes in the tree. And that's happening all around us right now. It's the time for woodpeckers to collect acorns. Leave that whole tree, start one new. Hmm, who will move in after you? Bill to bark, slam, 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 chip and chop, woodpecker, wham. You guys, they really do this. They're like, they are the carpenters of the forest. And that's the end of our story. Now, 
We're going to show you a lot more pictures about a particular woodpecker called an acorn woodpecker. And then I'm going to tell you the story of Woody, my pet woodpecker. You hear the birds in the forest around us? Where there are trees, there are birds. Woodpeckers are a very special kind of bird. No matter what kind of woodpecker you are, they all have these special characteristics. They have special feet. They have two toes that go forward and two back. Instead of a perching foot with three toes and one toe back, they use that to hold on really, really tight to a tree, not just to climb up and down the tree, but to hang on so tight when they're pounding with that sharp beak that they don't fall off. Look at the beak on this pileated woodpecker and his feet holding on. You might not know this, but woodpeckers' beaks never stop growing. That's because they often break them off when they're pecking on wood and maybe other things too. And do you think they get a headache from all that pounding? Well, sometimes they do, but they have a special kind of a skull that protects their brain and a really strong neck. But even so, People say that sometimes they get brain damage from all that pounding. Perhaps most amazing is that they have the longest tongue of any bird. Their tongue is so long it wraps around the back of their skull and it has muscles in it. It's pointed and sometimes it has barbs like a fish hook so they can pull bugs out of the bark. Some of them have little brushes with sponges they can soak up tree sap and they all have sticky saliva that helps them grab their prey and hold on to their food. So here's a woodpecker who's found a bug. We know that others will make holes and sip the sap. Some woodpeckers eat berries, especially in the summer and fall. And we know our acorn woodpecker eats acorns, just like his name. Acorn woodpeckers are the biggest talkers of the woodpecker world. And the reason for that is they live in a big, noisy family. I'll be playing lots of woodpecker sounds as we talk about them more. They can have as many as 15 adult woodpeckers in their family group. And that can be as many as three females who are actually sisters and six males and then some helper birds that have grown up in that family group. And they greet each other as they come and go. Something really funny is that the three females that are nesting together have to lay their eggs at the same time. If someone lays an egg earlier, it's thrown out of the nest. It's called egg tossing. So until all three females lay eggs at the same time, there's a lot of egg tossing going on. The entire family helps raise the babies, and there's something else they do as a group. They create a place to store acorns. If they can make as many as 10,000 holes in a tree, and that tree is called their granary. It's kind of like where you store your food in your kitchen. And they all help make holes. It takes about 20 minutes to make one hole. So over the years, they can have as many as 10,000 little holes just the size for an acorn in one tree. They stay close to their granary to protect their acorns. Hmm, who might want to steal one? Well, maybe a gray squirrel, maybe a blue jay. And so they have to make sure there's a really good tight fit and they will actually move acorns if they shrink and get a little smaller and find a better hole with a tighter fit. And since this is the season of acorns growing in the fall, it is also the time so for I'll acorn only have a few to pictures. Harvesting. But here's a picture here's showing what he looked like when I found him. Off by he only one collecting five. acorns. But he had no feathers. It's and really fun really to find pretty. acorn and woodpeckers whenever you go for a walk. I was out at Garland Park. I found him on the ground grove, under an oak tree. And I found and he could not see any place to return him to his an adventure watching the acorn woodpeckers at work. I've learned a lot about woodpeckers because long ago I got to be a woodpecker mom. It was before the SPCA could take care of this kind of wild bird, and so we were allowed to raise them ourselves. This is what a baby woodpecker looks like. They are not very pretty, and I did not know what kind of bird it was until he started growing some red feathers. His feet were huge and ugly. Like any baby creature, we had to feed him every couple hours. It was a lot of work, but he grew really fast. I have to say he was one of the smartest pets I've ever had. He knew lots of tricks. He could fly in the air and grab a rubber band out of the air. And remember that woodpeckers have really long, strong tongues. He used to stick his tongue in my ear 
and just wiggle it around looking for a bug. It felt so funny. Well, being a woodpecker, he just couldn't help himself. He really wanted to store food. We didn't have a granary for him, so instead he would take his dog food or mealworms and store them all over our house. Well, Woody was curious, and he noticed everything. If he left a cupboard door open, guess who was inside checking it out? Nothing missed him. I learned from living with a woodpecker that birds are incredibly intelligent and have observational skills that we just can't even imagine, the things they see and hear and remember. Here are a few more pictures of Woody hanging out with me, on me, but it's very important that we all understand that wild creatures belong in the wild. My woodpecker had no choice but to be my pet, but we don't want that for any other wild woodpeckers. Well, I hope you have a chance to see some of your own woodpeckers in the wild. Thanks for joining me today.